is Tales of Berseria a step up from Tales of Zestiria, or has it fallen to a new low? In Tales of Berseria, you follow Velvet on a journey to avenge her brother, Lafayette, who was sacrificed during a ritual by her brother-in-law, Artorius. This game takes on a new spin, where you play as an anti-hero role. A little bit different, but it works out really great. You'll find yourself breaking out of prison, killing exorcists, and assisting in a kidnapping in what may be one of the most immersive stories that the series has ever seen. I hope you also like backstory and very humorous skits from a wild cast of characters. The battle system works differently in Tales of Berseria. Some of the, some of the elements from Zestiria still remain, but they are different from some of the other entries in the series. One of the first things you'll notice is free roam, without having to have a skill. New to combat is the soul gauge. Each character will have one and can have up to five souls, which deplete when arts are used. These will recharge over time. Under certain conditions, you can steal souls or have them stolen from you. Now, once I encounter another battle here, I will show you the... Uh, drawing a blank here. The Break Soul from Velvet. As long as you have at least three, you can use it. And basically it extends her demon arm out and makes for some interesting attacks. A complete victory. And don't worry, Mystic Arts are still a thing. We'll even show you one here. Just as good, just as damaging. The environments and tales of Berseria are as beautiful as ever, despite being graphically behind. Tales of Berseria is a game that everyone should experience at least once, whether you're a veteran of JRPGs or if this is your first one. I give this amazing game a 9 out of 10. For more videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a good day.